This is Mrs. Shobana from Sir Isaac Newton, CBSC and Metric School, Papa Kovil. Now we are going to learn science lesson one, the magic of life. Hope you have already gone through this lesson and in this session we are going to read the remaining chapters, okay? So far, I have told you what are living things and what are non-living things. And in the last session, we have discussed about the characteristics of a living thing. Hope you understand it well and you hope you remember it too. Okay, what are the characters of a living thing? Sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, nutrition, movement, respiration. These seven are the basic main characteristics of a living thing. Okay, in this session, we are going to learn about some of the characters of the living things. First one is respiration. Okay, what is respiration? We breathe air in and out all the time. This air is used by our body to get energy from the food we eat. We have to breathe, otherwise we cannot survive. We need oxygen to survive, okay, to live. Okay, we give out carbon dioxide and we inhale oxygen. Oxygen is the main thing which we need to live. So, this process of inhalation and exhalation of air, inhalation of oxygen and exhalation of carbon dioxide. Okay, inhalation means taking, okay, breathe in. Exhalation means breathe out, okay, we are taking oxygen in and giving out carbon dioxide. So, the process of using the air that we breathe to get energy from our food is known as respiration. The process of breathing in and breathing out is called as respiration, okay. Can you understand? This is the main character of a living being. Usually, uh, we need an organ for this respiration. We inhale through nose and ex exhale through nose only. Okay, we use our nose for inhalation and exhalation. I mean breathing. Okay, but another main part is involved for this process. What is that process? respiration and what is the organ used in this respiration lungs yes lungs is the main respiratory organ okay can you understand children lungs are the main respiratory organ animals have organs in their bodies that they use for breathing humans dogs on other land animals all other land animals have an organ called lungs for breathing but animals that live in soil, which means earthworm, okay, like that, they don't have lungs. They respire through their skin, okay? Do you understand? They respire through their skin. Animals that live in water, okay, uh, fish, lobsters, okay, all the fish are lobsters used to respir respirate through their skin okay screw through their skin and gills in the skin in the outer surface of their body there is a uh, part called gills okay they respirate through their gills okay they help them breathe under water okay so the respiratory organ differs for animals humans fishes and earthworm okay so each and every organism living organism have different type of respiratory organs okay the first character of a living thing is respiration and we have seen about respiration in detail and next one what is the second important character of a living thing the second important living character of a character of a living thing is movement okay we move from place to place okay that is called as movement okay if a chair can a chair move from place to place unless we move it it will not move but we human beings 
i mean living things can move from place to place okay this is called as movement and it is the one of the important character of a living thing many living things move from one place to another they usually move to find food water shelter to escape from danger and to avoid extreme extreme hot or cold conditions if i move from place to place i want to go there i want to prepare food i want to eat my food so if i want to go there i will move from a place to another place with my limbs okay i have two hands and two legs okay so all the animals and we will be having a uh, part in our body to make that movement okay that is called as movement squirrel may example i will give you some examples dear a squirrel may move in search of food or to escape from being eaten by other animals a group of flamingos moves from place to place to avoid cold weather so these are the important characters of a um, of a few living beings and first one is we have seen is respiration and second one we have seen is movement okay so there are some uh, important examples given here one is squirrel second one is flamingo and third one is deer is given here uh, see a shark is moving inside the water it will move the shark will move in search of food also okay birds are flying from one country to another country in to escape from the cold weather to reproduce okay many australian birds come from australia to india i mean in to tamil nadu in korea karai okay so many birds will come in season to reproduce okay then they will go with the Uh, young ones okay so respiration and movement are very important for these living beings okay we have taught learned about two properties one is two characters one is respiration and the important organ used for respiration is lungs and second one we have seen about the movement of the living beings okay then third one we are going to see is usually all living things are aware of occurrences in their surroundings and respond to them they use the sense organs and respond to any kind of occurrence like humans other animals also have the sense of sight touch smell taste and hearing okay like human beings are uh, all the animals will have a sense of uh, feel to feel the thing okay a sense of sight sense of touch sense of smell sense of taste and sense of hearing okay so all the living things possess these type of characters okay some i will give you some examples for example dogs respond to occurrences in the surroundings using the sense okay if anybody enter your house if you are having a dog as a pet in your house the dog will bark at him okay bark at the uh, unknown person because the smell of that person is new to that dog okay we if we are in the house the dog has uh, no the dog knows our sense of smell okay so it will not hurt us but if an unknown person come inside your um, house the dog will bark at him okay so this is the uh, sense of smell which dogs have okay what is next one we are going to see is stimulus what is stimulus any change in the immediate surroundings of a living thing is known as stimulus okay stimulus means any change in the immediate surroundings okay we can feel uh, earthquake okay uh, it is the it, it stimulates our uh, feel okay so it is called as stimulus okay if a earthquake is occurring near uh, nearby somewhere okay it will what happen we can feel the stimulus okay so it is called as stimulus the process by which a living thing detects and responds to its stimulus is called as sensitivity okay the process by which a living thing detects and responds to its stimulus is called sensitivity for example we shiver when it is cold and we cover our ears when we hear loud noises okay immediately if we hear a bomb blast we will 
close our eyes this is called as sensitivity okay so for uh, for uh, loud noise also we will close our eyes for cold weather we will uh, immediately respond by having our hands close to our uh, body okay these are the three important things we have learned in this session okay uh, okay children please go through this if you have any doubt feel free to ask me okay i will give you some worksheets in the next class thank you